everyone, welcome back to another video. This week we're planning out the week of November 18th. No, just kidding. Wait, what day are we on? Yeah, we are planning out the week of November 18th through the 24th. And I already did my line work and my, you know, layout. I can't talk apparently. It's two o'clock on a Saturday and I lost the ability to speak words. So because I already did my layout, which I find this to be a better system because when I film it on camera, it takes really long to edit and it takes a lot of my computer space, which I don't have a lot of. So I think it's better to just do this beforehand. I found this inspiration from last week's I just looked up like quick Google search and this similar layout, I thought it looked pretty good. So I'm going to probably use the same colors or so I used last week. Let me just get all my markers. So I wrote November across the top last week. I think I'm going to do that again. I thought it looked really good. That kind of came out a little funky, but there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Not centered, but what are you gonna do? And then I'll do this light tan again for my weekdays. looks good so now I'm going to place down my dates from the one of the happy planner sticker books it is this happy memory keeping dates and holidays sticker book I always find it helpful when other planners on YouTube mention what sticker book they're pulling them from out of and I know I'm really terrible at doing that so I will try my best to make it a habit because if I'm curious and don't know what sticker book they're pulling stickers out of how would you know what stickers I'm pulling up of the sticker books that makes no sense anyway <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say This is a really small weekend box. So we'll see how much tasks and things I can fit in there. I really like last week I did this and then I just wrote on top of it. I can show you on the page. I thought that looks really good. So I'm gonna do the same. I should write in my days of the week. Good enough. This spread already is not 100% perfect, but it's fine. All right, I got my date stickers. So I can put this sticker book away. What I like to do before planning out my, like, you know, filming, whatever, 
is I put sticker books I want to use because I do have a lot and it makes it easier if I lay out some ideas in front of me so I know what I want to try to do. What I do want to do is I want to use up this sticker. This is from last year's Boho Berry Box. And this is the last November sticker I have. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can put this right here. Try my best to center that. And then let's use one of these fancy pens. All right, there is my calendar. Now we can decorate. I'll color this in yellow. This is from the Memory Keeping Year of Memories and they have these cute little coffees and leaves. And then this one in the Teacher Planner it says Pumpkin Spice Everything and it has similar stickers. So I'm gonna incorporate that. If I can fit it. I think that's it out of that sticker book. That's the one sticker that really caught my eye. And then I will put a coffee cup here. No! Coffee cup. Perfect. That little leaf was out of the sticker book, the blue one. I do have some ideas for that sticker book still, so let's not. This is the Happy Year sticker book. I'm just gonna see what I can include. I will put this little day sticker here. I don't think there's anything else in that one. Wednesday is garbage day. Garbage day. I could put something here. What do I want to put there? That is the question. I have like pages falling out of my sticker books. Oh, we could put this.
I have Christmas songs stuck in my head because it's all I've been listening to lately. It just puts me in a good mood. I know it's early. We actually decorated for Christmas a little bit early and I'm, it just makes me happy. It really makes me happy. I know there's no blue, but why not? That came out of memory keeping. All right, I think that's good. I have some washi we can put down. Let's see. By the way, I bought this cute Thanksgiving washi from Michael's last year. I think it was last year. That was so crooked. Cute. We can also put something here. What do I want to put? I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty excited to be possibly, well not possibly, very excited to decorate for Christmas. Like my bullet journal spreads, Christmas time always makes me happy. I don't wanna use those. What stickers do I wanna use? I just need one more to fill up that space. It. That probably looks dumb, but it's okay. And then the final thing I need to do for this spread is my payday sticker because Friday is payday. Payday. garbage day. Cute. Now my usual go-tos for the weekend are as follows. Sunday we go grocery shopping. Saturday, I like to start laundry. <sighs> and do we have anything? Thanksgiving prep. I'm gonna put for now and I think we will just oh I need to put meal prep and I think that looks good so let's turn the page and I already got my weekly meal log planned out I think I'm gonna keep it 
actually, no, I will use this Thanksgiving washi. I'm really digging it. Now, leave, a, leave your answer in the comments below. The big question, do you like eggnog or do you not like eggnog? For me, I have a love-hate relationship with eggnog. One year, like, one year I'll love it, the next year I'll hate it, love it, hate it, love it, hate it, and so on. Um, I don't know if I will buy eggnog this year. Maybe I will, but I don't think my boyfriend can drink it because he's lactose intolerant. So it will just be me drinking eggnog by myself. So leave in the comments, lover of eggnog or hater of eggnog or 50-50 of eggnog. All right, friends, this is the result of next week's spread. I actually really like how it turned out. This boxy kind of layout seems to be working fairly good for me. This week I did do a shorter weekend to-do list. I think next week I'll go a little bit bigger, um, but I love this little column here. I keep, like my weekly spreads consistently evolve and change. It's never really the same week to week. Some things tweak here and there. Just trying to find what works for me and to shake things up. Oh, I did forget one thing. Gotta highlight the week ahead. Okay, week ahead is highlighted. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you love this spread, please let me know. <laughs> and uh, please subscribe if you're not already. I would love to have you and I will see you on my next video. Bye.